In this video, we will focus on the more advanced manual audio reduction features such as Copy Effects 2 and Bulk Update Audio Points in Case Guard Studio. These features are helpful when redacting videos of the same incidents or events taken from different devices and angles. For this demonstration, I'll add four different videos of the same event taken from four different perspectives. I want to begin by redacting all of the faces and screens from the videos, so I'll use our bulk feature to get started. The bulk process has exported the four videos with faces and screens redacted in my project file panel. Let's begin the manual audio redaction. This video contains a lot of PII that is shared during a virtual meeting. Let's take a listen. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm calling you in regards to your doctor's appointment today, March 13th. 2023 at 2.30 p.m. I will be a nurse for this virtual check-in. Thanks for calling me so quickly. I really appreciate it. No problem. Can you please confirm your name, date of birth, and social security number? Sure. My name is Pippa Elizabeth Smith. My birthday is June 5th, 1998. And my social security number is 987-54-3210. First, we will expand the audio way for better view of our work. Previously, we learned CaseGuard offers four methods to redact audio. They are 1. Timestamp, 2. Capture Start and Capture End Time, 3. Press and Hold, and 4. Redacting Right on the Audio Wave. We also learned that there are three different redactions or effects for audio. Mute and Bleep, which appear green and orange on the audio wave respectively, and Change Voice, which anonymizes the speaker and appears yellow on the audio wave. I'm using the different methods from the manual audio reduction video to redact the PII in this video. Now that I've applied the redactions to the PII using the manual audio reduction methods, I can easily right click and select to Copy Effects 2, and it will give me the options of all of the videos that are in this case card project. There is no limit to the number of videos and audio files that I can apply this effect to. I will select to add it to all of them individually. Let's take a look at the other projects that I copied the effects to. As you can see, each of the videos have the same audio redaction effects at the same timestamp. By simply applying redactions to one video, I was able to copy the exact effect with a simple click and apply them to the other videos. Let's export and listen to parts of each of the different videos. Hi, my name is Colin. You in regards to your doctor's appointment today. Your doctor's appointment today. Sure. Just to make sure I got it accurate. Next, let's talk about the Bulk Update Audio Points feature. This feature allows me to replace all of the redaction reasons and effects with one click. If you have multiple types of features and want to replace them to be all the same, you can easily select this option and all the different audio redaction features will now be changed to the one you've selected. This will be reflected on the audio wave. We can also select to change the redaction reason for each of the audio points. As you can see, the first audio point does not have a redaction reason. These redaction points have different redaction reasons. I will use the bulk update audio points feature and select to change the redaction reasons by selecting this checkbox and choosing a different redaction reason. Let's check on the audio redaction points and see the redaction reason is updated. We can also look at the print reports, and under the exemption log, we can confirm that the redaction reasons have been updated. In the next video, we will talk about redacting audio using CaseGuard AI audio redaction features.